What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. So if you remember from the last episode, we uh, I kind of went over what I'd been doing uh, on Old Ridge, um, you know, after the Windows 10 catastrophe. Um, that is all settled now, and, and everything is fixed, and we're back in business. Um, we sprayed some nutrients on our fields, um, and because I'm a big doofus, I forgot to check to see what kind of... Uh, herbicide potatoes like I have rectified that situation apparently they're like B I have filled up the the front the front tank and the sprayer with BB so that uh, we can kill the weeds that are there and get a few days of weed prevention so now we're just gonna go around and spray the fields also I want to go down to the uh, to the dealer and pick up some um, some Ross boxes so that we can harvest our crops uh, what I want to do is I think what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm going to uh, harvest the apples uh, maybe two or three times and then bring them all down at once to the store, I guess. Uh, that's a little more realistic than bringing them down every single time, you know. Because uh, obviously in real life you'd only harvest apples, you know, in pairs, uh, you know, once a year. Or, yeah, once a year. Um, hello, have you, you worked in an orchard, right? Um, so, and then they would all go to sale, you know, after they were, cl uh, not clean, but sorted and everything. So, I think that's the way I'm going to do it. And with the, the Flegel uh, DPW uh, 180 that, you know, now universally loads pretty much everything, um, it's easier to, you know, we can go around, hook a Ross box to the, either the front or the back of the tractor, harvest all the apples and pears, uh, and then bring them to a shed. And then, you know, once we get a good, a decent amount, we can load them up onto the Flegel and bring them to the store. So... All right, so I'll just go ahead and get this unfolded. We'll get some herbicide because, as you can see, the weeds have really taken hold uh, here in the potato field. So, all I've also I also think I have figured out how to uh, place the material holders, uh, the fill planes and stuff, for the. Um, pig forage system so i think i'm going to try to do that maybe after i record this uh, after this is rendered and everything you know uh, give that a shot and we'll see how that goes go ahead and turn that on and we'll spray some some herbicide on here kill these weeds want to make sure i get the headlands too uh so the the fields don't the the fields the weeds don't spread into the headland Those will go all the way up to the end, even though we're not growing anything up here, so it probably won't have an, you know, a real effect. But just to make absolutely certain, oh. So uh, let's see. Today is Thursday. You guys will see this on Friday. Uh, and today I had uh, the first of my sort of map preview uh, videos come out. Um, you know, to. Uh, so that you guys can take a look at the maps that I'm going to be putting up for the straw poll for you guys to pick what map I do next. Um, as you guys know, uh, I have decided to stop playing on Amagawa just because I don't have the time uh, or really the inclination to rebuild that map back to where it was uh, before the Windows 10, you know, thing. So I decided that, you know what, let's uh, let's get you guys involved. Let's let you guys pick uh, what map I'm going to do next. The first uh, preview video, as you guys are probably aware, was Chellington. Uh, Chellington was one of those maps that was overwhelmingly picked uh, by, you know, the, the vast majority of, of people who've given me suggestions, you know. Um, and again, again with this tree, every single time I hit this tree, you'd think after, I don't know how many times I've been around this field, I would not hit that tree with these sprayers, but I always do. And I still think I'm going to hit it. Yep. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done messing with that tree. I think that tree's going to come down. Um, but yeah, so uh, there will be a couple more, uh, probably three more um, of those map previews coming up. So you guys, uh, you know, have a good choice to pick from. Uh, the next map coming up will be a, a, a not English map, a European map uh, with soil mod. Uh, it's really cool. It's really big. Um, so, you know, there's, there's going to be some choices. Uh, and then it'll be fun to let you guys sort of decide what's going to be the next map. Now, let's spray some herbicide on the road. Why not? Um, you know, the road looks like it could use some herbicide. <laughs> oh, I am so going to get fined one of these days for this. Oh, I make such a mess of, of doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just driving around in circles, just destroying, you know, potatoes. Luckily, I'm not destroying them, but in real life, I would just be making a giant mess of this. So.
Still working out what other things I want to do on the map. I know I do want to do a couple more things, um, you know, maybe production-wise. I, I think I'm going to buy some chickens this episode, too. And I may even buy some sheep. Uh, I don't know. You know, I I've been saying kind of that I wanted to get into sheep. You know, this being an English map, it would make sense that there would be sheep uh, on the map, you know, uh, on the farm. So I'm thinking about maybe buying chickens and sheep. You know, we'll see how that all goes. Uh, I definitely think I'm going to buy chickens, though. Chickens, to me, are one of those things that, you know, they're not... I don't know. They're kind of a pain in the ass in the respect that you've got to chase down the eggs and everything. But, you know, they're, they're sort of an easy source of, 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 you know, some fairly decent income, you know. And ultimately, uh, after this harvest and then, you know, um, after the groundwork and after we plant some alfalfa in all these fields and we go through the winter, quote unquote, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to buy some more fields. So the more money we can make, the better it's going to be. I should have enough in these tanks to do all of these fields. I shouldn't have an issue uh, getting these fields um, all sprayed up, you know? Get rid of these weeds. The weeds took hold quick this time. Uh, probably because, you know, the last time when I did this, I was doing it, you know, during the series. So I was, I was you know, focusing on, you know, spraying nutrients, spraying herbicide and everything. This time, I, I was really just focusing on getting the groundwork done, getting the getting the crops that were on these fields already either up or turned in or whatever, uh, and then getting the, you know, the potatoes replanted. So I didn't really have time to go around and do probably as much, uh, you know, prep work that as I would have done had I been playing it just regularly. So still the same day, still not fast forwarding. Um, I, I probably will fast forward after the apples and the pears get harvested, um, you know, after we buy the chickens and everything. Maybe we'll bring some grass up. If we buy sheep, we'll bring some grass up. I got to give the, the chickens some grain, I believe, on this map. I believe this, this map, the chickens need to be fed. Um, they also need water. I'm going to need to bring water up to the sheep. So I've got plenty of hay uh, to bring up to the sheep, so hopefully uh, that won't be an issue. Probably won't buy many. You know, I'll probably buy, I'll probably buy 20 chickens because uh, chickens are reasonably inexpensive. Uh, and I'll probably buy 20 sheep as well. Why not? I don't know if I'm going to do lambs as far as the breeding stuff goes. I guess, you know, ultimately it would be cool to do everything that this map sort of had to offer, you know. Uh, I know I have some stuff up for the... Well, I had some stuff, I should say. I just realized that th that will no longer be there since this is sort of a complete reboot of the map. So if we decide to do lambs, I'm going to have to bring them more stuff. Um, so I don't know, uh, you know, if that's going to be a thing or not. You guys can let me know if you want to see lambs, uh, you know, on the, on the map, so. Still in talks with the with the gentleman about the brewery, about where we're going to put it, uh, you know, where, where, where would be a good spot, uh, you know, land that I own uh, that he could, uh, you know, maybe rent for me uh, or we go into business together, be more of a mutual thing as opposed to, a, you know, sort of a renty landlord kind of deal. Um, so... But I'm sure uh, as soon as we can dis determine, you know, um, what that brewery is going to take for work to get it back up, uh, we will be getting a brewery going, I hope. It's going to require me planting quite a bit of barley, you know, but that's okay. Uh, I plant quite a bit of barley anyway, so not really an issue. All right, I'll catch the very end of this headland just to keep the weeds down as much as possible. All right, that's done. We can go over to field 10 now. Make sure I remember to turn the beacons on this time. Uh, make sure this thing is folded all the way up before I smash into these trees, because this is kind of a narrow uh, narrow entrance through here, obviously. Still kind of trying to decide whether I want to draw these two fields together. It's going to require quite a bit of work. Going to have to get some uh, excavators in here to dig this all up, because, you know, who knows what's underneath this track. Uh, obviously, this track is very old. Been here for quite a while, so... That would all have to be dug up and everything. These hedges would have to be moved. Uh, I'd have to replant the hedges somewhere to sort of keep up with my heritage payments and all that. So it's something I'm thinking about, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do it or not. There are other fields that would be easier to sort of draw together to make a bigger field. Um, and there's a couple fields that, I, you know, that I'm looking at that I would actually want to maybe turn into more than one field. So field 11 being that field. Uh, that field's kind of a weird shape, and it's really big. So cutting that in half and then maybe grassing off the, the far north bit uh, would be a thing that I do if I buy that field. So, All right. 
get out on the field. Get this spread out again. Drive over as much crop as humanly possible. <laughs> the weeds didn't really take so much in the headland on this field. Um, a little bit, but they seem to have really gotten a hold in the in the um, home fields. So everything else is pretty good. The soil moisture is real low on this field. Uh, probably I can't do it today because now I've already sprayed two things on this field, so I won't be able to spray water on this field. But this uh, this being a liquid will provide some moisture benefit. We'll see how much uh, you know come the next day. And see if it's going to be uh, if we're going to need to plant uh, plant. We're going to need to spray some water in these fields. But the pH and everything is okay. So, uh, you know, obviously the NPK has not had a chance to sort of absorb into the ground yet. So that's why the uh, nutrient levels are still low. But. For some reason, my icon has disappeared. Not quite sure why that is. Up oh, there it is. Only shows up on the front tank, apparently. Okay. Oh, because we're on the front tank. That's why. Because the back tank is empty. Ah, there you go, BP. You'll figure it out eventually. Uh, you've only been playing this game for you know, for how long now? You you will eventually figure it out, though. <laughs> Still gonna be on the back tank to turn it off, though. I do have my uh, steering wheel set up with buttons and, and things to turn the implements off and on. But to be honest, it's almost easier just to reach up to the keyboard uh, and, you know, and, and um, hit the, the sort of, you know, the B button and, and whatnot. So. Just going to scroll on a little bit so I can see what I'm actually doing. Now, obviously, in real life, you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd have to sort of rely on your mirrors and whatnot. But since I don't run at the graphic settings where I have mirrors, and to be honest, the mirrors are not, with the exception of maybe some mod tractors where you can actually adjust the mirrors, the mirrors are not great anyway. So it's just as easy to do it this way. I know that I'm going to catch the end of that sprayer on that tree if I don't back up uh, far enough. So, almost caught it as it was anyway. Okay. So, once this field is done, uh, field one is done. I'm not... Uh, yes, field one. I'm not doing anything with field three. I think it's... Uh, you know, ultimately, alfa I'm planting the alfalfa as a fertilizer anyway. So, if I go over there and spray fertilizer on it, well, then why did I plant it? I could just spray fertilizer on a field to begin with. So... I'm just going to let that field do its own thing, um, you know, and if there's any weeds or anything on it, that's not a problem because those could always just be uh, plowed in as well, and that's, you know, a little bit more organic fertilizer, so. Just want to make sure I got the very edge of this here. And there we go. Okay. Very good. That's done used almost all of it um, you know I, I guess obviously doing three fields you know with one tank is, is pretty good I, I'm happy about that so I think what I'll do is I'll go park this up um, and then we will jump in the Unimog um, hook up to the fleet oh can we use the Unimog actually I don't know if you can auto load those things those Ross boxes uh, when they're empty because I'd like to take the Unimog down there as opposed to a tractor uh, plus I would have to take the uh, the Ford, you know, and driving the Ford on the road, eh, a little sketchy, you know, not really supposed to, but, you know, another case of, hey, BP, do you want to do some research before you, uh, before you started? No, 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 no. Um, I guess realistically what I should do is, if I had one, was park a forklift down at the dealer because, you know, the dealer would have a forklift, you know, to load stuff like that. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to bring your own equipment to load, you know, all that sort of stuff, so. I think I'll just park this over here, um, and then I'll take the tanks off afterwards. I want to go down and get these boxes, so. It's going to require a drive to the uh, dairy farm anyway, because that's where the Flegel is, so. I will just park this here for now. Shut it off. 
set the parking brake. We can jump out, run over to the Unimog. Uh, let's see. The chickens, yep, the chickens need, uh, there's no eggs in there, obviously, because I have no chickens. But I believe the chickens need uh, wheat and water, I think. Yep. So that, I think that's either the wheat or the water uh, trough. So so we will uh, we'll maybe pick up some chickens while we're down there, too, I guess. Why not? I think I've got the Unimog all set up to tow a trailer. Yep, I do. Oh. Did I take the front hydraulics off, too? Uh, no, I should probably take those off, I guess, going down the road, you know? Oh, well, no, you know what? Let's leave those on. Why not? Get that fired up. Get the parking brake off. Probably wouldn't hurt to take a look to see where I'm backing up here. Reverse. Thank you. Go down to the dealer, get some boxes, and um, I don't know how many I actually am going to need to buy. That's, you know what, I don't know. I guess we could probably buy probably eight, maybe, eight or nine. You know, they hold a bunch, obviously. Uh, but, you know, in real life, you would have a bunch of these things. Um, I know when I worked at the orchard, we had a ton of them. We had, uh, we probably had a hundred of these boxes, you know, um, strewn all over the place. So, you know what I could do? I could go down here to the dealer and buy them. And then go get the, uh... Look at that. Blinkers. I actually have a button key bound to my steering wheel now to turn on the indicators so I can actually use them. Um, yeah, I'll go down here, buy a bunch of them, and then uh, go down and get the, uh, the Flegel. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't ever remember what they're under. I think they're under MISC. Are they under MISC? Uh, nope. What are they under? I know I have them. Uh, weights, no. Bailing technology, no. Mowers, no. Slurry tanks, no. No, no, no. Oh, they're under tippers. Oh, that makes sense. They, they would be, I guess, under tippers, so. Uh, they're $150 a piece. Let's buy, uh, can I do this? Can I do this shift enter thing with these? Sort of. How many do I own so far? Three. I think I'm going to buy eight. At six. At seven. Ah, oh, let's buy ten. Nine. And ten. Okay, very good. That's ten. Now, I bet. No, yep, they're all just spread out in a big line down there. So, okay, uh, we'll go get the um, we'll go get the Flegel. Uh, see if we can auto load them empty. Hopefully, we can. And there you go. There's our ten boxes. Now, normally you wouldn't buy these at an implement dealer. You would buy these at you know, sort of a, a, a farm supply store. But okay, you know, they're pretty cool. So, go down to Dairy Farm, pick up the Flegel, and um, hopefully auto load these. Drop them, off, drop them off somewhere, probably down the pig and beef uh, area, I guess. It's sort of where, obviously, because the orchard's right there, it makes sense to keep everything, you know, orchard-related down there, so. Now, I know what you're, you're all screaming. BP, come on. Wouldn't it have been more efficient to come down to the dairy farm, pick up the Flegel, uh, go down, buy the boxes, and then make the trip back? Yes, it would have. But, uh, you know me. That's not me. I, efficient. What does that mean? <laughs> this way we get to drive back and forth twice, so. Still waiting for the silage bales to ferment. Obviously, if I fast forward time, uh, they will. So I can make some TMR for everybody. Uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the dairy cows, the beef cattle, and the pigs. Because they all need it, so. Now, I hope this works. Uh, so I don't have to bring a, um, I don't have to bring the, the Ford down there, you know, with the pallet forks on it. Not sure where the pallet forks are anyway. I'm not sure, actually, that I even bought pallet forks this time, so... Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Nope. Not... Didn't get in straight enough. So. Okay. 
There we go. I was given some thought to maybe using that manual attacher mod that just came out uh, a few days ago uh, over on Mod Hoster. It is pretty cool. Uh, Caravera 76 did a mod showcase on it. It is neat. Um, I don't know, you know, as far as... I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I, it's cool, you know, and it's neat that you would actually have to get out of the tractor to, or, the, you know, the, whatever you're driving to hook uh, stuff up because that's how it is in real life, obviously. Very rarely can you just sort of back up to something and hook up to it, you know, unless it's a very simple trailer that you can just drop your draw bar, uh, you know, with a hook on it, hook it up and pull it back up again. You know, if you're not going to drive it on the road, you don't need to hook up electrical connections and hydraulic connections and things like that. Uh, but... I don't know. I think for the game, I don't really think you need that, you know? It's just another, you know, a little bit of realism, I suppose. All right. Now, I didn't kind of come into the best angle on this. How much you want to bet I catch this trailer on this uh, retaining wall here? No? No, how about that? All right. Now, hopefully, I can auto-load these empty. I don't know what the difference would be, you know? I guess we'll find out. I will need my HUD, though. And I'll need to find the correct... Uh, uh, let's see. Toggle product type. Uh, nope, not bales. Nope, no, 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 no. Ross transport boxes. That's what I want. Um, and start automatic loading. Oh, outstanding. Very, very good. Very, very good. So you can look... Ah, awesome. That's cool. Geez, that makes me want to buy a bunch more. I don't need them, but man, it would be, it's, they just look so cool on, all stacked up like that, huh? Oh, uh, you know what? We're going to buy a few more just because that looks really cool. So, um, how many does this hold? Uh, tippers, let's buy, uh, let's buy, I don't know. If, that's one, two, three. Spend a whole bunch of money on Ross boxes. Four, five. Let's buy six more, I guess. I think it, I think it, it should hold six more. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. And there you go. Oh, perfect. I bought the exact right amount. So it holds uh, 16. Very cool. Do I need 16 of these things? Absolutely not. But you know what? It just looks really cool. And in fact, that's going to make a really cool screenshot, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a screenshot of that because I like that. I think that's cool. So uh, back up a little bit, get a little bit of an angle there, do a little alt H action, and a little screenshot. Very good. All right. Now we can go down to the uh, down to the pig and beef area and drop them off. Um, uh, we need to track it. Well, no, we'll just use this. Why not? It's got a three point on it. We'll just use this. I will say that that is a very cool site. I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. I think it's really cool. So, so once again, I want to thank everybody for the comments and the suggestions and the tips and the love and the support and everything else. You guys are continually showing the channel. It means so much to me, guys. It really does. Uh, you know, I say this all the time, but I really, really mean it. It's it's. You know, we're closing up on 1,900 subscribers now on the channel. Um, it, it, it still blows my mind to think that 1,900 people, almost 1,900 people, uh, you know, like what I do. My pokey little, you know, mostly dumb and hopefully fun, you know, uh, simulator channel. You know, it, it really means a lot to me. You know, you guys that have been here since the beginning, um, you know, thank you so much. You guys that are new, thank you so much and welcome. You know, remember, there's over 400 videos to watch. You know, it's going to take a long time if you decide to, you know, that you really want to watch all of them. Um, you know, but uh, like I said, you know, I try really hard to put out a video every single day. I've been pretty much on schedule this this week. So, all right, girl, move out of the way. Thank you. Been on schedule pretty much this week uh, for videos, you know, so. I've had a video now. Uh, today is Thursday. I had a video every day since Sunday, so it feels good to be back on schedule. All right. Easy over the humpback bridge. Even though these, th these things are strapped down, I do not want to dump them all in the river. So I'm not going to do a reefy and fly over these things and try to get air. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out to a guy uh, called Mr. Cosmic Knight. Uh, some of you guys may know who he is. He's a, a farm sim. 
uh, YouTuber. I, I believe he does other things too. I, I'm not 100% certain about that. Uh, the reason I'm shouting him out and the reason I'm sort of, uh, you know, letting you guys know about him if you don't already is that uh, he did, um, he had he had shouted out Reefy, uh, 1952. As you guys know, Reefy's a good friend of mine, you know. Uh, we sort of have a concurrent storyline going on Old Ridge. And he had he had said something really sort of funny about, uh, about Reefy. Uh, he called him a rambling old Norfolk man. And apparently, uh, Reefy liked that so much that he integrated it into his channel intro now, which is really, really cool. So I just want to make sure if you guys do not, uh, or you're, you haven't subscribed to him, you haven't checked him out, you guys go check him out because he uh, seems like a pretty cool guy. And uh, I will leave a link to the to his channel in the description of this video. Hopefully I remember. You guys know how I am about that sort of stuff. But... Okay. Uh, I need to turn this back on for a minute just to make sure I'm not going to actually accidentally pick up any apples when I drive under here because I... I sort of planted them a little closer together this time uh, than I did the last time, so they're a little closer to the road than they were. Oh, okay. Now, moving all of these uh, into some sort of, you know, logical location is going to be a little tricky, uh, but we'll do that probably afterwards, I guess. Uh, but for right now, I think... Uh, oh, there's another new addition to the farm, as you can see. Um, the Juskin uh, Animal Trailer. The OEB one is awesome. Uh, I swear the reason I bought this one was because I was going to try to load the Bobcat on it. But um, there, I, I think I bought the wrong version. The Flegal version of this is the one with the ramps. This one doesn't have ramps. But I figured, well, you know what? I own it, so we're going to use it. It is considerably bigger than the OEB one, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, okay, do I want to unload these to the left? Let's find out. Nope, I do not. I want to unload them to the right. I, I just love that. I think that's so cool. Uh, toggle unload side. Back, no, right. That's what I want. I want them on that side. There we go. All right, I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'll come down here with a loader, uh, you know, probably the... Um, I don't know, maybe the skid steer. Uh, pick up a pallet fork for the skid steer, because I don't think I have a pallet fork for the for the um, Ford anymore, so I'll probably use the skid steer. All right, we'll just drop that off there. I gotta jump out and put the uh, put the hy hydraulics on the back because uh, I'd rather have them on the back than on the front. So. Sorry about the phone, guys. It's one of those phone days where the phone's gonna ring every five minutes. Seems like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the phone just rings uh, incessantly. You know. All right, let's go ahead and attach the uh, rear hydraulic. There we go. We'll pick up one of these boxes. Oh, of course, the only problem is I'm going to have to pick one up off the bottom, which is going to make a giant mess. Oh, I didn't think about that, did I? Oh, well. Okay. Actually, if I was smart, I'd grab two. I wish I could grab one off the top. Oh, you big doofus, BB. You got a nice neat stack over here that you're about to completely make a giant mess out of. Oh, look at that. I'm going to grab both of them anyway. <laughs> Obviously, because they are stacked on top of each other. Now, so, let's see. Let's do some let's do some realism here. Let's lower them down. See if we can shake this uh this top one off. Come on. You got to come off. <laughs> Can I smash it into that? There we go. That'll do. Not particularly. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Don't fall that way. Don't fall that way. You're still stuck. Oh, you big silly thing. There we go. Whatever you do, BP, don't bring a loader down here and do it the right way. Sometimes, you know, the game requires you to do things that maybe you don't want to do or that you definitely would not do in real life. So. All right, let's grab this one. And let's go. Now that we've got that sort of silliness over with, let's go harvest some apples. We'll do the apples first, come back for the pears. Uh, we'll park these in the, in the shed somewhere, so... I believe these trees should be full. Um, it's been uh, a couple of days since I planted them, so. Uh, 
apples on this side, apples on the left, pears on the right. So we'll just go ahead and start right here. We may actually not have enough to even fill up um, to fill up both uh, boxes. You can see now that they're pretty close together. I could actually probably do uh, both at the same time. Uh, you know, just drive down the middle of the row. Oh, maybe not quite. Not quite close enough for that. That's okay. That's not. I mean, obviously, in real life, you would do it that way because the pickers would come down and um, dump their, you know, their their uh, pick bags into the box from both sides. Obviously, so. I could set course play up to do this, but you know what? I enjoy it. This is one of those things that I really, really enjoy doing. So I'll do it myself. Apparently, Reefy's been down uh, eating an apple off of each tree because I'm missing one apple off each tree, which is always funny, you know? Um, some people, it, it's funny, I can get, I, I seem to get 400 off the pears, but off the apples, I always get 399. So, you know, I, maybe people driving down the road just stop and helping themselves to an apple. Um, you know, I've been known to do that in real life as well. Uh, you know, it is technically illegal. It's technically stealing. But but I've never seen, a, a you know, an orchard owner really complain about somebody taking, you know, one apple off a tree. So I wouldn't condone doing it. So don't, you know, don't say, hey, BP said it was okay. Well, who the hell is BP? <laughs> you know, fine. Probably should get down here and uh, maybe mow this grass, too. Um, you know, there's a good path between the trees, but it probably wouldn't hurt to get rid of the grass, uh, you know, in, in between the rows. Although, in real life, you know, you wouldn't really... Normally, you don't have grass growing on the rows because you're always driving up and down them and everything, and the, the, the apple trees tend to... or the fruit trees tend to kill the grass anyway um, because, you know, they're, they're, the grass can't get any sun, so... Yep, that one is full. Oh, just about full, anyway. Very cool. Now we'll just get turned around here and grab the next row. That is one thing about this Unimog. It does not have a very good turning radius. That, one, that front one's not 100% full yet. Almost. Now it is. All right, cool. We may actually get uh, almost two boxes out of this, which is really good. I'll definitely take that. And then, like I said, we'll just store them uh, for, you know, a few harvests and then bring them all down at once. I guess, obviously, once the boxes are all completely full, uh, then we can bring them down and, and sell them. Thinking about maybe doing, uh, maybe doing another placeable, uh, you know, grocery store. And then sort of integrating it into the story at some point. I think that'd be cool. Um, I know there's a couple other ones out there that are different than, than the one that I have now. The one that I have now is awesome. I really, really like it. But it might not be bad to have another, you know, sort of another place to sell stuff. Also, um, you guys, I, I never mentioned this, but you, you could probably extrapolate from everything that's happened with the Windows 10 and the rebuild of FarmSim, basically. Uh, Bjornholm has gone away. Uh, and that's really sad because I so love that map. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, as you guys are probably aware, there's quite a few uh, modded Bjornholm maps out there. You know, either modded to the point where they're not really Bjornholm anymore or modded just straight Bjornholm maps. Um, and I found a couple that I like that are Bjornholm maps uh, that retain the original, you know, configuration and everything of Bjornholm. Just with, you know, just modded. So you can add things like chopped straw and you know, the manure mod and soil mod if you wanted to. Uh, and what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get one of those and I'm going to rebuild Bjornholm uh, back to where it was, you know, sort of at the last update because I like that map and I miss playing on it. So, you know, you'd think, well, geez, BP, don't you have enough stuff to do? Well, I do. But there are times, um, you know, even though 90% of what I play I record, there are times when I just sit down and play, you know, play a game. Uh, so I tend to do a lot of that with Space Engineers. Space Engineers tends to be my just play game uh, because... As you guys may or may not know, I am not the most confident person in the world with my building skills in um, 
space engineers. So I tend not to record it. You know, I am going to start though because I'm working on a couple things now that I'm really that I really like, and you know, we'll probably start probably start seeing some space engineer stuff on the channel. Uh, but but you know, again, Bjorn Home would just be my sort of play on it. You know, and recorded occasionally, sort of uh, screen uh, save. You know, and I really miss playing on Bjorn Home, so I think we're going to get back to it. Wow, did we actually get, if I could see, wow, we got almost two complete boxes off those trees. That's awesome. That is very, very good. All right, now we must just drive over here. Oops, not crash through the stop sign. And we will put these in a shed over here because obviously I don't really have any other use for these. I'll, I'll put one, I'll put all the empty ones in one shed, obviously, uh, and all the full ones in another, so... Uh, I might as well go right in the front here because I kind of got everything in the way. I may move this uh, this livestock trailer. It doesn't really fit in the um, in the shed anyway. So now normally you would put these in a closed shed uh, just for you know freshness reasons, but for the game these will be fine. I need to kind of straighten them out though because I have a feeling I'm gonna have quite a few of them in here. So. I guess actually, because of the way they stack, I could stack, I could move the empty ones with this instead of, you know, having to use a loader, which would be kind of cool, I think. Now, my luck, of course, the, as soon as I pick up a stack of two, you know, the top one will fall off, <laughs> and I won't be able to lift it up high enough to stack it on top of the next one, you know, um, because they were, it didn't really want to come off when I did it the last time, but, you know, if I go to do it again, my luck is that, you know, I'll have, I'll, I won't have it any luck keeping it on so uh, I could have got that over further eventually I'd have to stack these with a loader anyway because this isn't the most ideal way of doing this but and they don't have to be perfect that's pretty close so we used to have a, an ancient Clark forklift that we used to uh, move the, the big apple boxes around at the apple orchard. And, man, that thing was cranky. Be lucky to get it running most days. You know, it was propane, and uh, it was fussy, and the hydraulics weren't great. But I, I, I spent a lot of time on that thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Really learned how to drive a forklift thanks to it. So, oh, these are facing the other way. Okay, we'll just grab this stack. That, that's fine. Now, how did I grab the top one? How did that happen? Oop, gonna need some four-wheel drive, I believe, to get off of this. And maybe some diffs? Really? Why do I not have any four-wheel drive? My front tires are not spinning. There we go. Oh, because I didn't give them a chance to actually uh, engage, because I was still on the gas. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, that was weird, but at least it worked. So now we can turn all this off. Now I don't need any of that, and I don't need that. Grab this one, go get the pears, and then I guess, you know, uh, what are we, 38 minutes? Uh, do I want to buy, well, you know what, we'll at the very least buy some chickens. Uh, and then in the next episode, we'll buy some sheep uh, and do, you know, get get everybody sort of all set up. Oh, now you're going to make a big mess, of course. Of course you are. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll finish this, um, and then we'll buy uh, some chickens. And then in the next episode, we'll uh, buy the sheep, get the chickens, you know, wheat and water, and, <clears throat> and get the, the, the uh, sheep some grass and some water. And we'll have sheep and chickens on the farm, so that'll be neat. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It never fails. I get about 40 minutes of talking, and I get all sort of froggy, and my throat just closes up. You can see down there in the distance the bee house is back, obviously. You know, i got to have bees when you have fruit, so... I mean, not for the game, obviously, but, you know, in real life, you would, so. Do I want to hop out? Yeah, let's hop out. Why not? I like the trees planted closer together like this. It's a little more realistic. This is how it is, uh, at least at the orchard that I worked at. And most of the orchards that I see in real life in this area are planted, you know, because obviously, 
you, you want to put the maximum amount of trees you can in a given area, you know, as long as they can, you know, get enough sun, get enough rain and everything. And that you can work them, you know, because you do have to do some work on them. You have to do some pruning. You have to do some trimming, you know, uh, things like that. So spraying, uh, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're an orchard uh, owner that sprays this fruit, you know, although that's kind of going by the wayside now in this area anyway. Uh, I can't ever remember spraying anything um, on, the, on the apple orchard that I worked at. So, And I worked at the apple orchard during a particularly vicious uh, Japanese beetle outbreak um, in the late, uh, in the very early 80s. Uh, we had a bad Japanese beetle outbreak in, in the area that I lived in. Uh, and even then we didn't spray. We lost quite a bit of fruit. Uh, not the fruit so much because the beetles weren't eating the fruit, but they'd eat the leaves of the trees and of course you know without leaves the trees can't really generate you know the the nutrients and get the sun and everything in the rain uh to turn into fruit so i should uh i don't know if i have enough sheds down there i should probably do a shed for pears and a shed for apples. I'm going to have to obviously reorganize everything down there at some point uh, because it's a little bit of a mess now. Okay. I'll make the turn with this with this thing. Again, not the best turning thing in the world. So. But it is cool and it does provide, you know, it does provide a service that we need at the moment, so... I didn't get the front one quite full, did I? Oh, that's a that's unfortunate. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Now it's full. I'm sort of unloading two at once here, I think, which is neat, you know. Okay, there. We go. Let's get back on the sort of the right uh, the right system here. At least the front's full now. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of fruit off of this, which is awesome. Um, once we fill up all those boxes, we'll uh, load them up and bring them down to the store and sell them. I like this system. Uh, I like it better than the Brantner. The Brantner is kind of, the Brantner's cool, don't get me wrong. But this is, like, I, like I've said you know, numerous times, more realistic uh, to my experience. So. I wouldn't mind, and I, again, this may be you know, something that can't actually happen in the game. But I wouldn't mind so much if these just sort of went in there in bulk, you know. Uh, and then you took them somewhere and boxed them, you know, later. That would be kind of neat because that would be the next sort of part of the of the whole process of, of harvesting fruit, you know. You know what? I think we'll do all the animals in the next episode. Let's keep all that stuff. Let's keep this uh, as one episode, and we'll do all the animals in the next episode. So that way we can do everything at the same time. That way we're not sort of mixing things that we're doing, you know? I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, I really like how this orchard looks now. Uh, now it makes me want to plant more, because <laughs> I like it, and I probably will. Uh, I would very much like to expand this orchard. There's plenty of room down here to do it, so might as well do it. Why not? Yeah, we're going to get two complete... Wow, two full boxes of apples and two full boxes of pears. Very nice. Not sure what that comes out to. Is it 5000 I think? 2500 apiece, I think they hold. So, not too shabby. I will probably do all the reorganization of this off-screen. No sense you guys having to sit through watching me fumble around with a loader. Uh, or with a skid steer in this case, probably. Uh, that would just be silly, ultimately. So, All right. 51.99. So they hold a little bit more. They have 5,200, maybe. No, it's only 91%. 55. I'm not exactly sure how much they hold. Um, you know, but quite a bit, anyway. So that's really good. So we will go... Uh, I'll just park this up down here. And I will say goodbye to everybody. And um, 44 minutes, you know. Again, it takes, you know, it's farm sim. It takes a certain amount of time to do things, so... And I certainly don't mind playing farm sim for, you know, an hour, 5, 10, 15 a day, <laughs> as you guys know, so... 
I think I'll just leave these right here. I suppose I could put pears on one side and apples on the other. That could certainly be a thing. Go ahead and shut that off. Um, and so there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, please let me know what you think about the video, about the series, about the map, about the, you know, the game, about the channel, about me, about anything else you guys want to talk about. You're always more than welcome. You guys know that. I read everything. I reply to everything. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate the likes and the, su the subscriptions. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for, you know, for coming and watching the channel, um, you know, and, and, and being an active, being active members of the channel. That means so much to me. I love interacting with you guys, as you guys know. And as always, thank you so much for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later.